So you're my last patient for today and you need to do a few things before you go through your operation room. I'm just going to write down your number. Okay, yeah, unfortunately, a few months ago, we went through a few things, and I don't know if I should tell you, but a few people went through and they weren't really ready for it. Um, yeah, I mean, they were alive, but we should be okay because now. I'm in charge of checking everything but if you really are dead I'm gonna wear my gloves because I don't want to touch any germs that I don't have to better okay check so I'm just gonna have a little dip my eyes so you know you know I've heard that a lot of people like to just come here they think they can make it through without going through cremation but maybe, maybe it's a tax evasion thing I'm not really sure okay can you look at the light? <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, I see no reaction, so you should be okay, I guess. But this is a very exhaustive test, actually. It's not just about if you're alive, which is the main thing, but I need to know if you're ready. I'm gonna have a look at your emails. Right? I've heard of some people who put themselves through, through something, so like drink something and it lowers their heart their heartbeat a little bit. I don't know how they do it, but I'm not here to figure it out. I'm just here to find out if they do it or not. Can I open your mouth in case you Ooh. Okay, I don't want to look at that. Yet. I mean, I guess I have to if I want to keep my job, but I'm gonna check. There's nothing in your mouth, so if you can just. Thank you. It's right. It's a bit gross, but I think it is because you are actually dead. But I mean, this job is quite boring. But if you think about it, who would do this? I don't know. It's just random people, I guess. But you wouldn't think you have to check. But I guess we have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I personally don't like opening mouths that have not been alive for that long anymore. How can you? Yeah, I cannot do anything about it. I gotta make a paycheck, you know? I know. You sure? You had a very interesting life when you were here. Okay, I'll open your mouth again. I'm gonna have a look at your team. To be honest, it looks like you had a great smile. Hmm. A few cavities, but do what you got now. Okay. Oh, looks great. Your hair looks great. I'm gonna have this little pokey tool.
school. Just gonna poke you. And let's see if you are alive. It should hurt, right? So let's have a does that hurt? I see no reaction and this is quite sharp so I should be okay Just make me, let me make some notes I mean I'm in a bit of a rush but I'm sure not you're not Because you know, I'm gonna do my job anyway So you had great teeth Great, you also didn't have any reaction to the light so no reaction to light and no reaction to the sharp objects yeah because we're gonna get auditor again i'm sure about that there's always something isn't there let's see what else can i do uh, This one's an easy one. I'm gonna feel if you have a heartbeat. Let's have a look. This is gonna be a bit cold. I guess I don't have to warm it up, right? Okay, let's go. Stay still. I'm just gonna stay. Okay. There's no sound. On your forehead. No? Okay. Guess there's no many thoughts going on. Good. Yeah, you don't want to do much thinking now, do you? Stop. Little hammer. I'm gonna see if you react to it. No? Gonna go quite hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gonna go on your knees. Okay. No reaction. What about your elbows? Okay. I'm just doing whatever right now, right? Like, I clearly not with us anymore. No shoulder either. What about you? Here. No. Nothing. You are fine. You are great. You fork too. And I hate loud sounds. So if I was. You hear? This is quite a relaxing sound, isn't it? But anything with a little bit too high, that would wake me up, you know? Let's have a look, let's have a think. I'm gonna take a little sample. Good. And I mean, this is not part of the test itself, but um, I like to have a look at the complexion, give it a little bit of a treatment before you go through. So just let me have a little check at how your skin is looking. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, it's lacking a little bit of color, I guess. But it's okay. I have some lipstick, so I'll just rub it in a little bit. And a little bit on the lips. Yeah, it's just, I mean, if it was happening to me, I always like to wear a little bit of lipstick, you know. So I'm just gonna rub it in your lips just so you can look a little bit more bright. I don't want it to be a full beat, you know. Like, I'm gonna rub it in your cheeks. Good. That looks way better already. Yeah, and I don't have a freckle pen, but I have a black pen, and I think if I do it very lightly and then I pat it. And that should make it look way fainter. And you know, you look a bit pale, so some freckles would make it look like you've seen the light of sun lately. But that's great. Okay, so you are ready. Okay, everything is good. I mean, it does seem like you are a great candidate, I guess, if you're gonna put it like that. I'm gonna make a note of how great they're looking. No, actually, I'm just not gonna make a note of that because I don't want my boss to see that, but I will make a note that I believe, in my professional opinion, that you're ready. Perfect. Um, I'm just gonna close your eyes because I have to open them, unfortunately. And we can just say goodbye now, okay? Bye bye. See you later.